In this video I'm going to talk about the sidebar element. Uh, in case you uh, don't know what the sidebar is, uh, is this one. It's basically an element that's uh, built with uh, WordPress widgets. Now I'm just going to uh, create a new page so I can show you the uh, preview of the uh, sidebar element. I'm going to say sidebar element demo page. I'm enabling the page builder, publishing the page, and I will edit this page with page builder. Good, so now I'm going to simply construct a new a new page. Uh, I'm first adding the subheader so we can have a subheader to the page and then I'm going to add a section cool so uh, I've added a section and a 12 by default it adds the section adds a 12 column um, uh, 12 column uh, column or no a block with <laughs> 12 columns Okay, so I'm going to resize this to four columns and I'm just going to simply add the sidebar element. As you can see it appeared directly because uh, this is the default uh, sidebar specified in the Kalias options. We can choose some options here. You can choose this uh, sidebar for by default it's default sidebar minimal sidebar and shop sidebar and of course an option for whether you want a background or not now of course you will wonder okay but how do I create uh, sidebars well you have to go to the uh, sorry about this I'm going to first start from dashboard go to Kalias options and go to the unlimited uh, no, sidebar options good so here is as you can see we have um, a dynamic way to create unlimited sidebars now this will only create the position not the actual uh, widgets so let me just uh, create a new sidebar position see here I'm going to edit this and say uh, my custom awesome sidebar it doesn't really matter how you call it so I'm going to save this the name does not update updates uh, but only on a refresh of the page um, then if you want to have a look at this uh, these sidebar settings just go to the um, video called uh, Kalias options sidebar options but for the moment, uh, let me uh, continue with these uh, unlimited sidebar positions. Now I'm going to access the appearance widgets page. And as you can see, I created, I simply created the, uh, I registered actually the uh, sidebar position. So I can drag here anything I want. For example, I'm just going to add a text, just a title just some text here too I'm going to save this one and let me add another one say uh, I don't know a recent post why not recent posts great so now I can I will publish the page I will create a new column let me go to the bottom because by default the uh, column blocks uh, will uh, resize automatically to 12 columns and now I'm just going to say again four columns so let me add the uh, sidebar element and I'm going to choose my custom awesome sidebar as you can see this is it it created the 
uh, automatically added the widgets specified by you in the uh, widgets page now in case you're wondering okay but I could just simply build this uh, this uh, this page with simple uh, page builder elements well that's correct and you can do that but uh, WordPress has um, uh, in its philosophy and uh, as an overall usage um, principles these sidebars and they don't have to be marked or uh, misused or or I, I don't know they worth uh, using and for example why I'm saying this well because let me just publish this page and I'm going to go to the home page now for in my local host uh, my home page is actually the blog page and say I want to create I don't know a custom uh, a custom uh, post page with uh, the page builder well I can simply do that like I will hide the header remove this one and I'm going to look for the post content because this is a post as you can see the uh, post has been uh, added I will resize the post to eight columns and then create a new column of I'm just going to place four columns great so we have it here and a sidebar and as you can see I constructed the uh, the post content uh, let me also add something here custom sub header element and basically I replicated the uh, post page now in case you're wondering well why would I want to do that well that's because you have access to all these page builder elements you can add anything you want here and customize your post to look uh, awesome and I don't know you can basically do whatever you 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 like you can uh, save presets or I don't know the page builder is simply awesome and uh, in case you're having a I don't know a shorter blog uh, I just recommend using uh, the page builder so uh, that's about it with this element if you're having troubles with it uh, just subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there also if you have any questions in regards to this element just ask me and I will uh, uh, try to uh, answer your questions so thanks for watching and see you in the next one